the exercises that took place, they were two county exercise, Cumberland, New York County, and we had it in um, four different venues that started off on Friday morning in uh, Portland, South Portland, um, Brunswick uh, Friday night, uh, ours on uh, Saturday, and then Westbrook uh, midday Saturday. And the idea of it is to exercise the regional response teams and the hazmat teams uh, throughout the southern part of uh, Maine uh, to deal with an, ex with an incident such as we uh, pose for them there. We started out in the morning with a safety briefing, which is a standard in all exercises. Safety is paramount. Uh, safety is paramount for us for real response and even uh, more so for a drill because we don't want anybody injured. The, uh, all of the scouts that participated uh, were asked to uh, have their families sign a release form uh, letting them know that they were going to, taking in any information that they might have for uh, any uh, ailments that they have. Asthma is one that comes in because if we're using smoke or anything we want to make sure folks uh, don't have that. And uh, then brief them on the safety uh, of the program. Uh, turnout equipment, uh, protective equipment it was required for everybody that was out there. Uh, and then when the folks do their dressing in their suits and all, there's a process for that where you have the individual plus somebody helping you get into the suit uh, and working with you. So we follow the protocols that are written by the HAZMAT team and by uh, our, ourselves. And all of this comes under OSHA and under the uh, main uh, Department of Labor who has standards that you have to respond with and we follow those standards very, very strictly. Goals of this exercise today that uh, we're trying to achieve right now is that we need to gain entrance to the site. We have one body to recover from the site and uh, we've already taken the juveniles that were down near camping to the hospital in Sampling. Is off a good old waiting for other instructions. Transport of 10 off the Boy Scouts from Limerick provided our victims. They were uh, supposedly on a camping expedition down near the site and uh, had to be uh, evaluated, deconned, transported, and we actually transported them to Goodall Hospital, uh, which Goodall also participated, received them at the hospital, did their evaluations and decon, additional decon at the hospital. Very critical part to bring the hospitals into this too. Every one of our hospitals, the three in, in York County, are trained to uh, receive patients. They're trained to decon. Uh, they have an active group uh, in the hospital. Two of our hospitals have just built new emergency centers, emergency rooms, and included decon, built-in decon rooms at the hospital, Southern Maine and Goodall have brand new decon areas. And we go in and train them on a regular basis uh, to be ready for that. They're on call 24-7 and if we need to call them to set up decon, uh, be ready to receive victims, uh, they're, they're very highly trained to do that. So we're very, very well prepared. And then we have the Northern New England Poison Control Center in Portland who oversees the stockpiling uh, of pharmaceuticals that would be used during a we <coughs> weapons of mass destruction incident should we have to. Today's incident is a mock weapons of mass destruction drill. What we've done here is we've called in multiple resources from the York County Sheriff's Department, State Police, Lemington Fire EMS, Newfield Fire EMS, Cornish Fire EMS, Waterboro Fire and EMS, as well as hazmat teams from Agunquit and Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. They work together as a team and that was one of the things we wanted to really see is could the three or four towns come together and work together and then integrate with such groups as our regional response team, the hazmat team, the decon team, the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, uh, the 11th civil support team from the National Guard. All of those groups did come together and working together uh, is what this is all about. We've got our own little bit of hazmat decon stuff that, you know, once we were into a heavy situation, if you've heard the term, we've got hot zones, cold zones, and everything else. Uh, we go from a long 
decon line that we get scrubbed down by different members. There's a 10 step program that, that you know, would include soap and water, brushes, and you know, walkers that no one thing gets untouched, everything gets cleaned, and, and no one brings back any bad material back in. Once you leave the decon line, nothing should go get beyond where we need to, need to be. It also shows those folks in the community what they can do. You can read a book, you can go to school, you can learn all this stuff, but have you ever had to do it? And there's always that question in our minds, and mine own mind too, until I get a chance to implement something that I have been taught and supposed to know, till you go actually do it. And this is what this does. It builds confidence that they can go out and do this and handle an incident and know when they've gone to the level that they can go to. That's very important. Uh, we need to get more of this because people don't know what a hazmat team does, don't know what's out there uh, in resources within their county. And there's a heck of a lot of resources in this county. For any type of uh, incident such as this in our area, multiple resources have to be called in in order to be able to handle it. Unlike a full-time department, these resources have to be called in from distances away, such as the Portsmouth Hazmat or the Agunquit York County team. We work our Hazmat team, the York County team, in partnership with the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard Hazmat team, uh, which we have a, an agreement with, and we roll in partnership. So again, the integration of those two teams working together uh, and matching up the training, uh, that's why we, we did that. That's why we do those types of exercises. And to show the community that you do have that capability within your community, within your county, the citizens are well taken care of with those specialized teams that can handle hazardous materials and weapons of mass destruction. This is like our annual drill. So we have to have a, you know, one mandatory drill that, you know, the, to hone our skills in. And this is part of our four part exercise that's been going on since yesterday. This is our piece to the drill. They're pretty much uh, utilizing testing half of the hazmat teams in the state today. Limerick was willing to be the host for the exercise and we were able to test uh, not only Limerick but uh, Lemington, Newfield, Waterboro, Cornish. Uh, surrounding communities were able to come in and support the incident as they would as they do every day.